anyone new out here so okay um hello guys good evening all of you and we have the faculties over here um we'll share the knowledge to you and the next part of your goal is isim stat and other uh, examinations that you are giving uh, for your masters in statistics so i personally think uh, that um during this portion you should focus even if you're self studying or whatever you're doing uh, during this portion you should uh, focus on um, revising the concept that you have like that was common in iit jam and isim stat or the courses are you're doing and there the problem solving you do the problem solving from past years and um, the new portions that involve uh, sample survey and um, regression and stuff yeah yeah deboshi hi 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 so uh, we have deboshi with us so uh, yeah so uh, deboshi can you just uh, share with the students any any ideas you have yeah so some topics which uh, the they are not in the syllabus of iit jam we generally uh, don't give them much importance in in while iit jam like till the time up to which we prepare for iit jam but they are in good depth in isim stat and often why the sample survey so important because at least in our time sample survey was taught in semester 5 and 6 and that used to be in fall and spring respectively so uh, jam exam was in february 2020 so many of us didn't give importance to the college studies then so we didn't learn sample survey well but it is a very important part at least for me <coughs> in the in both the years i feel that if you know sample survey just the basics very well you can definitely crack a problem in the exam the problem which comes and they are doing it for the last two years but not uh, only for the sake of exam like uh, one of the professors who taught us he told me that sample survey maximum students find it boring but uh, if it can be taught mathematically in a proper manner it is a like very beautiful application of discrete probability and statistical inference both and i am sure if there are 21 guys here 19 of you like 19 guys here except me and sridhar so 15 of you i think don't like sample survey at least from the my past experience my juniors and my seniors have told me anyone doesn't like sample survey like the question is like dada sample survey ki kore bhalo lage tomar mane like this like how how do you find sample survey interesting but there are really some the basic parts of sample survey those are interesting i understand that the advanced parts they are nothing but repeated applications of these only so i am not telling that those parts are very interesting yeah they are same boring stuff repeating going on but the basics are really very interesting and that's what i say concentrate some basics only so we are trying out this course for the first time because uh, these are very confusing times uh, at least i have told before also to many of you many of you know, know me personally i think also i shop to she definitely knows so this is a very confusing time for the students who are going to appear for isim stat and just uh, they have done their isi jam i it jam sorry so we have tried to design pro stru properly structure a course that involves the things and what we will do like in theory portions we will theory class we will teach pure theory and mainly the applications not will not for every topic we will go to always it may not happen that we go through the rigorous proofs that you have already done in graduation it may not happen but we will concentrate on applications like we something we may try out like we may start the class with a bombarding problem and now we may approach that problem and build up our theory in that so i think this will be a in a more interesting way because in these three months we cannot teach you the whole theory properly there is a time constraint so we have to make some changes in our approach and we have tried to do that and we will go through a division of the previous topics also like this combinatorics co coordinate geometry and simple linear regression i guess everybody is comfortable with this many people don't have that much comfort in multivariate so we will go through a small a uh, revision of multiple regression yeah we will don't go much into mathematical rigor since it not that important for the exam but we will give you an essence and i also believe that the linear model and doe part that part is also i am i was myself not also very 
familiar with that part so we will try to do that also and in the problem solving sessions what may happen like it is not like we will always strictly follow uh, that we have to do problems for SRSWR only or simple linear regression only. In many of the problem solving sessions, you will see that we can take up any problem for the, from the previous year papers. Like you are preparing for the ISI instead, right? So it will be good for you only. Like if we see that we have done enough problems for simple linear regression since it is a very familiar topic. So we can, like Sridhita can bring out a problem of MLE if he likes to, which has came as a problem in previous year in ISI instead, or a linearity of expectation. Like she did the likes that uh, envelope problem, which you mentioned in the Cheetos problem also. This is a great problem, I know. So we may come up with problems like this. And what will happen is, I have repeatedly said to many of you that the main problem, uh, main motive behind this problem solving is uh, to increase our capability of thinking. And that's what, what we are going to do in this course. Be a bit interactive. Try to be a bit interactive. We are not forcing you. But if you be interactive, you and your classmates and we as faculty also will be exposed to a new way of thinking. And that's what mostly needed in ISIM stat. What about basic experimental design such as CRD, RBT, LSD? Yeah, we will go through the, uh, like we'll try to go through the basic, uh, like how the design looks like and how you get an intuition about the degrees of freedom, that thing and not those rigorous proofs. Like we will not derive those MSC and expectation of those why the cross products are vanishing that at the basics, you know, I guess. And there is a time constraint too. So we will go through the basics and mainly the question which uh, comes in as I am said, as far as I have seen, in the uh, 2004 to 2010, that period, questions from ANOVA and basic linear models used to come. But after that period, uh, the quest level of the questions has become higher. It's a lot more tough, so they don't give direct questions like that. Uh, I last remember there was a MCQ from uh, uh, RBD, like, uh, uh, yeah, in the year 2016, and there was an MCQ in our year, that is 2021 from blog design. So both of them asked the degrees of freedom. So we will mainly try to give you an intuition behind the degrees of freedom of that. And remember one thing, statistics is also called the study of variations. So this ANOVA, ANOVA is basically, you are splitting up the total variation into some components. One who can do this thing, that one who can split up variations into components properly, he should be a good statistician, according to me. And there's a very, very beautiful intuition behind why this degrees of freedom you should get. So see, the, yeah, whoever takes the class will tell you that. So I think you will gain that. I, I am sure that many of you had the question that out of where are these degrees of freedom coming out? Like in something m minus one into n minus one, something that is pq plus rs plus something minus one, where are these coming from? And how, why should they add up to one? So yeah, we will give an intuition about that. And as, as I have said, we should not blindly remember formulas because that won't help in exams like ISIM stat. We have to build an intuition behind that formula too. Like you will not get something direct from the book in SIM stat. So that's our main motive behind this course. We don't know how much will be successful, but we will try our best. And we expect that you will also try your best because here our main goal is to learn the things properly. And because learning SIM stat exam, as I personally feel is simply simply a corollary of learning, nothing other than that. It is not just an exam. It is more than an exam. Like when you will sit for those five hours, including that one hour break, like that one hour break also, also plays a very important role. After the MCQ part is over, you are eating your tiffin and you are going for the PSP part. That part is also very important. So don't consider it as a four hours exam. It is actually a five hours exam. So I think, uh, I say said that day will give you a life lesson too, to many of you, that particular day, irrespective of how your exam went, what the results may be, it will give you a life lesson. And so since it is more than an exam, we cannot afford to, like, we cannot afford to just prepare for the exam. We have to increase the 
widen the horizon of our knowledge. That's all I have to say. Thank you, and probably uh, hopefully you will find my words useful. Even not now, after some days when we start solving the problems. So, yep. Thank you so much, and uh, Deborah, she has a much more personal. I have never given an IIM chair examination, so um, like Deborah, she had a really good personal experience. So that is thousand, ten thousands, and better than what. The person uh, I have never given the examination, so it matters more than what I like. His words matter more to you, like his. It's based on his experiences, and yeah. So nothing uh, more to say. And I think uh, if you have build your fundamental matrices during your IIT exam, throw it away. It's not required here. It's just a technique based during your exams. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> so uh, what matters is knowledge. And do read a lot of books during this time. I Devosh has told it in his life. Yes, yeah. So, uh, because it will help you in your writing the proofs. Okay. So that is super important, guys. And that's it. I mean, just build your knowledge. That's the only thing that can help you in ISIM start. And uh, if you prepare for ISIM start, you will fall in love with the process of learning. Okay, I'm sure. sure. Like I, I have never given ISIM start, and I have started solving the problems of ISIM start. I myself fell in love with ISIM start. I'm like, you know, the problems. It's so beautiful. So uh, all the best to you. If you have any questions from anyone, we will give assignments to you, which will be graded, uh, just to see your writing skills. Uh, I know you have colleges and a lot of other uh, things on your, a lot of other tuitions and coachings and stuff that can. That are really important in your life, but if you can give a bit of time for assignments, uh, which you will be graded, uh, it will be helpful for you, not for us, but helpful for you at least. So that's what we can say. That's it. And one more thing, Sujita, I want to tell the students that is, uh, it was actually like uh, I suffered from that period so much. So actually, it was uh, I told Sujita that, that uh, we should come up with a course like this when students are uh, in a, are in a so much. Confusing. So I actually wanted to take more classes in this course, but uh, due to some reasons, I have to shift to hostel and all that. I I cannot probably uh, take as much as classes I wanted. But one thing you can do: the problems uh, which we discuss in class or we we give us assignments. Even uh, we uh, are not able to discuss everything in class in this course. But especially, I will try to do one thing: uh, ping me with a photo. Of that problem in WhatsApp after trying for at least 15 days. I will mention this again. Try yourself for at least 15 days, and then even if you can't discuss among peers, and I can already see in this meeting there are at least three to four peers who are outstanding, and I respect them a lot. So not many of your many of your problems will be stuck. Please do the peer interaction. That's super important. Please do it for as I am stand. I think Deboshi has mentioned in his life that how his yes. peer discussion with Srijit has made yes. it a really good experience for them. So I think uh, please do the peer interaction. And I think in the last few days of IIT Jam, you have uh, tremendously done good peer interaction in the Till Statistics 2022 group and like in the Platinum branch yeah. that we had. So, so, so keep that flow now. Keep that flow. Don't let it break. Okay. Keep that till as I am stand. Like, we were when last year we were appearing in the exam. We did a lot of that, and and we really enjoyed it. The the faculties and the students of I was not a faculty then as a student, so yeah, we really enjoyed it. And uh, what we are telling that just you send me a photo. I will definitely try try to respond to you by writing a hint or in some cases solve the problem and send send it to you. I I will try this because since I have a regret of. That I can't take more classes in this course. I have that regret. Probably next year I will be able to, but uh, I will try to do this because uh, I, I was the one who wanted to take this course badly. Like she did the nose. I we discussed for several days that we should come up with a, something like this. Even it is not successful, we should try for the students because they are very much confused in this time. I know that. So all the best for your preparations. Thank you, guys. And a uh, good way, uh, like uh, Devoshi has done a mistake. Like he has asked the students' opinion personally. That's good, but his messages. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. You can send in the group. I will check that only. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the best idea to take, uh, like, uh, um, like take the notice and focus of Devoshi in the group is like give us a photo and try to tag him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Because it will appear in a WhatsApp. There's an ad direct, so yes. that will. Help yeah. Us. That's that's fine. So that uh, tag is fine. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I ignore it. That's why. Okay. Yes, yes. I, you, I, 
fall to the ignorance. So there will be a lot of messages. So that's why it's like no, no, don't send personally. Yeah, that's a drawback also. Like if you uh, send in group, um, it may happen that I don't even need to give you the hint. Some of your peers may solve it. So it will be a lot of faster. It will be a lot faster. Maybe it will be exponentially faster. It may happen. Oops. No, no, there, there's, it can be, you know, the worksheet can be modeled. Uh, By exponential problem. distribution, yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know if I've told it like the amount of time taken to solve your doubt by Devoshi. Let's say it follows geometric P1. Uh, the others is uh, others like now the amount of time. Let's say everyone has the same capability of Devoshi, uh, which is not true. But let's say therefore it will uh, if there are 100 people in the group or let's say n people in the group, it will follow negative binomial. Okay, so which has a better mean than uh, Devoshi. So the time taken. Yes, yes, yes. That's so, yeah. yeah, so, <laughs> so maybe I modeled it correctly, maybe I'm not, but yeah, that's how it will work. Yes. yes, yes. I mean, uh, so don't uh, blame me. I assume that all they have, all of them has probability p. Okay. Now it's your job to find out when it doesn't have probability p and p i. It will be summation of p i, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys, and um, yeah, uh, all the best. Uh, do you have any questions from end guys that we can answer? No, thank you. That was satisfactory. Perfect, perfect. So the classes, there will be four classes in a week. Uh, one will be this class. The class will be on based on high school mathematics. We expect you to know the theory of this. We will not teach you the theory because we assume that you are quite big enough to know the theory now. And uh, this is a high school mathematics stuff. So we'll do the commentorics part that will be taken by coast of or the high school mathematics part. The statistics part will be taken by me. And um, the classes will be divided among uh, like me, being some in Chinta. Okay, so yeah, the classes will be uh, divided among the corresponding topics. Uh, I hope you don't have any other questions, guys. Any questions? Otherwise, you can go ahead and have a good Sunday. Any other questions from your end? No. Okay, can we end the meeting? Yes, that's not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. I will see you in the classes. We will see you in the classes soon. Bye bye. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.